Whiplash here, welcome to another tutorial from PH Studios. This is part of the XNA basic training series and in this tutorial we'll cover very basic displaying of text to the game. Next tutorial we will worry about distribution of your game, the very basic approach to doing that. Then with the knowledge you achieved in these tutorials you can go on to the pedals tutorial and I will be creating the Space Shooter video tutorials finally and the pre-tutorials for the tower defense that will include the content the individual aspects of the game that might require a lot of explanation for example a uh, document or content writers and content processors that you probably seen in some of the XNA uh, projects that were provided for you at creators.xna.com but you aren't really sure how they work so I'll explain that as well and also the audio and the uh, graphics and all the other stuff so that will be the pre-tutorials then I will worry about the full complete tutorial now that will be a few that's still a little while away and I apologize for the delay I'm adding a lot more stuff to make the game worth the wait so you will not be disappointed so enough about that let's worry about this tutorial for now so let's create a new project XNA Game Studio 3.0 Windows Game 3.0 and let's call it Text Tutorial. Okay. Now, once that is created, we need a Solution Explorer, which I have no idea why it doesn't appear for me. Alright. So. Right now we just have the basic game engine which is just displaying a blue window on the computer and we want to display any text we want on here. In order to do that, to do that we need a sprite font object. So right click content, go to add new item. That's going to be a sprite font and call it anything you want. I'm going to call it basic and you need the dot sprite font at the end and that will allow us to add fonts to our game and you can have as many sprite font files as you want if you want one aspect of your game to have one font name and the other aspect of your game to have another font name for example you want the uh, menus to have Arial but you want the game itself to have Times New Roman, you need two sprite font files. So, for a very basic font that has been around for ages, just Times New Roman. If you're on Windows, you should have this. And let's leave everything else the same. Now, for sprite font, the file, this is an XML, the XML. You can modify this font name that's inside of your uh, fonts folder. And anything is in here you can call. I think it needs to be true type font. It can be open type, I think. Uh, you can modify the size, the spacing, and the style from regular to bold to italics and stuff like that. Alright, so that's our sprite font file. Let's get it inside of our game. So to do so, we basically do the same thing we did with the texture 2D. But we need a sprite font object. Now inside the load content, do the same thing we did with the texture 2D. So sprite font, the object, is equal to content.load. And instead of texture 2D, we provide sprite font the class and the asset name just like usual. We can click that and get the asset name. 
wrap it in quotes and in parentheses and semicolon. So now that the sprite font object is initialized, we can start drawing our text. So to do that, we'll go to sprite batch dot begin sprite batch dot end. Now in between this is going to be sprite batch and this is a new call draw string. Now we have six different overloaded methods we can choose from, but I'm just going to, for this tutorial, I'm just going to choose one of six, which is the sprite font, the text, the position, and the color. So our sprite font is the object we just created, which is sprite font with the lowercase s. The text can be anything we want. This is my first string in the XNA. Make sure you wrap that in quotes. The position can be anywhere you want. That's inside the game window, or else you will not be able to see it. And then the color will determine the color of the text. So let's choose white. Now we press F5. Now I have text dis text displayed here with the white font style. Now we can go around and change the color to black. And we have a black font. Or how about color.red? Now we have a red font. And just play around with those settings. And if we want it to be a zero and red, we just moved it to the zero x axis. Okay. So that's pretty much the core of this tutorial. You can expand upon this to add our little movement tutorials to this. You can certainly have a vector too for position and velocity. And you can manipulate the position with velocity. Let's just say 300, comma 200, like the last time. And the velocity is equal to 1, comma 1. Let's just move it 1 by 1. Oops. New vector to 1, comma 1. Now on the update, position plus equals velocity. Instead of new vector 2, we want just position. Now if we press F5, our text will be moving. So just like the movement tutorials, you can apply that to text as well. So this is a very short tutorial on how to display text. Next tutorial, we will worry about distribution of your game, the very, ba very basic way to do so. In the tower defense game, I will show you a very complete way to do so using Visual Studio 2008 Professional. If you do not have that, I will give you some uh, resources on how to do it with others, other means. So, only one more tutorial left on the basic series, and you can head on over to the paddles tutorial. Hope to see you next time.